Spinal Anesthesia Its Complications and Management Presented by Anesthesia with Babar Spinal Anesthesia It is a type of regional block in which local anesthetic is injected into the subarachanoid space. It causes major conduction block, which refer to blockage of major nerves roots, the resultant nerves blocks provide surgical anesthesia as for cephalate as upper abdomen. Complications of spinal anesthesia and its management. First one is hypotension, most common complication, occur due to sympathetic blockage. Its management. Prophylactic, preloading the patient with 1 to 1.5 letters of crystal lide. Curative management, keep the patient in head down position, give fluid, also give ephedrine. Second one is bradycardia. The incidence of bradycardia is 10% in spinal anesthesia. It should be treated with atropine. Third one is respiratory paralysis. Apnea. It is usually occur because of sever hypotension, leading to medullary ischemia. Immediate management required, intermittent positive pressure ventilation, IPPV. Nausea and vomiting. Due to hypotension, causing central hypoxia. Management. Treat hypotension. Keep oxygenated the patient. And give antiemetic. Cardiac arrest. It is occur due to hypotension, local anesthetic toxicity or anaphylaxis. Management. Needs immediate CPR. Urinary retention. Most common complication of spinal anesthesia, it is due to blockage of S2, S3, and S4. Catheterization may be required. Postdural puncture headache. It is also known as post lumbar puncture headache, is a common complication of diagnostic LP. It also can occur following spinal anesthesia or more commonly inadvertent dural puncture during attempted epidural catheter placement. Symptoms of PDPH include bilateral frontal or an occipital headache, worse in the upright position, and improved in supine position, associated with nausea, dizziness, and neck pain. Treatment. Need hydration. Bed rest. An analgesic. Meningitis. It is a very uncommon complication of spinal anesthesia, mostly due to aseptic techniques. Treatment needs intravenous antibiotics. Watch, like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more presentations. Thank you for your support.